stories of redemption. Prodigal sons returning, hearts of gold hookers reforming, captivate the gullible. Does a self-described master thief who honours his parents, respects authority, sympathises with the poor and steals only from strangers deserve our approbation, envy or respect? Good day, your worship. How might we serve you? Cook me some potatoes, my man, just as you like them, and we'll eat them together. Poor folk must humour the whims of their betters, I suppose. While my wife cooks the spuds, you can watch me work. Not my idea of how to pass the time before dinner, but some philosophising needs doing. You can't straighten crooked trees, your honour. Like children, you need to train them while they're young. Discipline must be maintained. Had you trained your son while he was young, perhaps he would not have left home. Perhaps, but he would learn nothing and was full of bad tricks. He grew misshapen, and I did nothing to reform him. But how do you know? I am he, father. Know me by this birthmark. Good God, but my son, how have you come to live in wealth and luxury? I'm a master thief, father. No lock or bolt prevents me from fleecing the superfluity of the rich and sometimes sharing it with the poor. Alas, my beloved son, a thief is still a thief. This will end badly, I'm sure. If your godfather, the Count, learns your trade, he will see you hanged. Be easy, father. He will do me no harm. I will go to him myself this very day and earn his respect, if not his forgiveness. Confidence, sort of a git. Is he not? A wiser man might just have eaten, kissed his mum, and run. But up he goes to the Count's castle and tells all. That's it, my lord. The voyage from apprentice to master has been arduous, rough seas and bad weather, but ultimately rewarding. Indeed. I'm all admiration for your accomplishments and acquisition. Still, you're a confessed criminal and should by rights be hanged. But as I'm your godson, mercy will take the place of justice. On this occasion only. It will. But I have a reputation to protect. So I'll put your art to the test. If you fail, you must marry the rope maker's daughter. Fair enough. Think of three tasks, as difficult as you like. And if I do not perform them, do with me what you will. Mark what I say, as your life depends on it. First, steal my horse from its guarded stable. Second, steal my wife's wedding ring and the sheet on which we are sleeping. Third, steal the parson and the clerk from the church. As you wish, my lord, I take my leave. I would have kept on walking, frankly, to China. But our thief's a proud bugger. He disguises himself as an old woman, laces a cask of wine with knockout drops, and returns to the castle. Oh, mother, come warm yourself. Perhaps we might taste more of your excellent wine. I live by trade, but fair words go far with me. Drink as much as you like. Oi, you're a lifesaver, Granny. It's as cold as a Siberian witch's t uh, tin pot. <laughs> Let's have another swig, eh, mate? Right you are. I got a thirst you could draw a picture of. Bring it on. We'll have... Uh... <laughs> Without witnesses, the thief wraps the horse's hooves in rags and silently rides away. Next, the Countess's wedding ring and bedsheet. The thief lugs a corpse he's collected from the gallows through the Count's garden. Mm, this promises to promote some mischief. All the doors are locked and bolted. I'll stay awake. If he tries to get in by the window, I'll shoot him. Save us the trouble of a hanging. Well, try to be quiet about it. I'm very tired. It's, it's me, Godfather. Might we compromise? Ah, I'm killed! Silence, please. I'll try to sleep. I've shot the Master Thief, my dove. Well, fine. Shut up already. I'm exhausted. My little cockatoo, the master thief is dead. But as he is my godson, and to spare his parents, I won't expose his shame. I'll bury him myself. Give me the bed sheet to wrap the body. You seem to care more for this criminal than for my 
put his sleep. Very noble. <laughs> Indeed, I am magnanimity itself. Give me your ring, too. He risked his life for it, so he may take it with him into his grave. Mm, what a ninny you are. Take it. You'll need to get me a better one. In Britain. Oh, please. What an unperceptive dolt she is. How generous, my lord, to bury a common criminal. Ah, it's you. Very clever. Well, even a twice-killed corpse deserves a decent burial. You're a capable thief, and so far have found your way. But there's still a third task. And if you fail, all is lost. The master thief silently walks away, and under cover of darkness, he takes a long sack and a lantern to the village churchyard. With some hermit crabs and wax candles, the master thief creates some creepy lamps. The last day is at hand. Hellfire creeps up from below. People, get ready. Your maker will be met. Promises of Judgment Day always attract a ready audience. The end of all things is near. Whosoever wishes to go to heaven must come with me. I am Peter, the gatekeeper of heaven. Behold how the dead outside are collecting their bones. Come, creep into my sack before the world is destroyed. It would not be amiss if we were to use this opportunity to find an easy way of getting into heaven. My <laughs> thought exactly. So, if you are inclined, let's jump in the sack post haste. <laughs> you, pastor, have precedence. I will follow. <laughs> to the holy, or those who wish they were, a clever disguise and a compelling line of apocalyptic patter can be very convincing. The master thief has only to turn over his catch to the count and win his escape from the hangman's noose. Congratulations. You are indeed a master thief and have cheated death this time. But you must leave my land or risk your handsome neck. I will go, my lord, proud of my mastery, but ashamed that it deprives me of your good opinion and the opportunity to be a comfort to my parents' old age. So he left. No one ever heard from him again. Blah, blah, blah. Jeez. Am I the only one who is in Gaga for tales of redemption? And who's redeemed anyway? The thief? He repays his parents' unrequited love by disappearing forever. Big show off. If this resolution works for you, please get out in the world more. If not, play on. At least there wasn't a wedding in this episode. <laughs>